Today is July 1st, 2022. We are at 412 Hilldale Ave, Decatur, Georgia. This is just to document the existing conditions in the home before move-in. Uh, occupancy lease begins today, July 1st. So let's start with the floor. Um, the floor is worn. There's a chipped piece of wood right here in front of the refrigerator. Um, and there's a lot of wear marks over here along the floor. The door over here definitely has some damage and scratch marks along the casings um, and some scuff marks along the bottom here. Um, and there's some stains on the blinds. Okay, moving into the uh, countertops and cabinetry. Um, you can see, first of all, that the lights here, the ballasts are bad on the uh, on these lights. Some of them, that light doesn't work at all. And we also have missing tile up here as well. We also have um, open junctions, flying junctions up here with no junction boxes. There's missing grout throughout areas, all throughout here. You can see along the black backsplash, there's missing grout. There is also a cracked tile right here to the left of the um, dishwasher, which is to the right of the sink. Going along around the sink, you can see there's uh, water stains and um, the wood is de definitely damaged and water stained and some missing caulk, missing grout along here. There's also missing uh, grout along the perimeter here where the backsplash meets the countertop. As we keep going along around the um, behind here, we can see there's a lot of cracking and settlement behind the stove top, cook top. We also have uh, lights that are not functioning properly. Um, this one is blinking and the one over there doesn't work at all. And we also have missing tile here and we have open splices here as well where the electrical comes out of the wall to meet the under cabinet lighting. As we keep going around, you can see there's more uh, some wood damage around the perimeter near the cooktop. The uh, looking at the door into the water closet, uh, into the water heater. Um, previous tenants um, had cut a door, a hole through that door. And in here, the floors have definitely uh, not been refinished. Looking at cabinetry, um, we can see that this cabinet above the uh, wall oven does, does not close, they are misaligned. So this one and this one does not close all the way either. There's just misalignment there properly closing. We can see down here a lot of water damage around the cabinetry and the doors. Also inside this cabinet here, there appears to be a light fixture that is just sitting here, hanging here, not, uh, not otherwise installed. Refrigerator looks to be in good shape. Well, appears to be good. And uh, just to note that um, these um, pendants hanging over the kitchen sink, the bulbs were replaced yesterday. They seem to have burnt out. Uh, Sean replaced them recently, and when he came back here, they were burnt out again. So hopefully they will hold the bulbs. Inside the cabinet under the sink, we see that there's extensive water damage. The laminate is cracked. There's um, water damage here where the water has gotten into the um, particle board. Damage it here. It's all cracked and damaged back there. There's a lot of rust on the escutcheons. And the you can see also there's missing uh, laminate and water damaged uh, particle board underneath here as well.
this was sitting here. We don't know what it is. Also water damage all across the face of these cabinets, along here, here, lots of water damage, along the top here, surfaces here, water damage, damage to the finishes, uh, all across here, all these door frames have that. We also have quite a few um, of these handles that are loose, but because you can't access, because of how these were installed, they're not able to be tightened up. Most of them are like that. These cabinets appear to be in good shape. These wall cabinets here. This one apparently, uh, the plan is that this vent is going to be removed and they're gonna be uh, direct venting this to the exterior at some point in the next week or two. This cabinet appears to be in good shape and this cabinet appears to be in good shape. These, this cooktop is going to be replaced, is my understanding, so we don't have to comment on that. Apparently, new blower is going to be put in here, otherwise, this doesn't really function. Underneath here, uh, we have a gas line, gas valve is there. Something seems to be this whole shelf unit here, it's not. Not if they have missing pins or does not seem to be functioning properly. That shelf right there damaged. Uh, Lazy Susan and Lazy Susan appears to be working top and bottom. Ceiling, there's some uh, stains on the ceiling up here. And uh, that's about it for in here.